So guys and gals, true believers, here's a look at the Marvel Legends Man Thing series. Netflix Daredevil Electra. Really cool uh, to get a Marvel Legends figure of Electra as we see her in the Daredevil series on Netflix. Um, played by I'm not 100% sure. I think her name is Elodie Young. I think. That's her on the side right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. I love love that artwork right there. Um, and on the back, you see the others in the series. Um, I've got three down, three more to go. Uh, and Man Thing is the build a figure if you're not familiar and then uh and you can't read that um or it doesn't show in the frame but uh, it reads both a wealthy heiress and a trained assassin electra nachios is a mysterious woman from matt murdoch's past who unexpectedly returns to his life so there you have it really really cool uh oh, this wave this wave is just that was one of the coolest ones in a while, so anyway, let's uh crack her open and take a closer look. Okay, and here she is. Um let's take a look at her without her size. Oh, I'm so amazed with this figure. Um Hasbro really did a great job here. Um not without I mentioned it in in my haul, if you saw that. Um, I, have, I have a couple minor issues, but really outside of those, you know, now that I have her in hand, outside of those minor issues, really, really, really good figure. Um, and you might be able to notice here, there's a subtle, but you can see the difference from the black of her, her top and like the, the slightly dark gray which i think is you know supposed to look like it's like black denim so it wouldn't be like pure black anyway oh she, she looks really good um but i'm gonna go ahead and attack one of those minor issues It's it's partly angles. I mentioned it in the hall, but I'll, I'll say it here again. These forearms, they look a little too thick. Um, and their actress herself, you know, the, the the upper arms are are fine. They're perfect, and the actress herself is is quite slim. Uh, these these forearms just just don't match up. <laughs> you know, not that someone wouldn't couldn't you know have buffer forearms um then then their upper arms but these just look from that angle it's not so bad but it's really like that angle the width of these forearms yeah they kind of they kind of look too big so it's kind of like there's not many poses oh see now this one though from that that angle yeah this one looks looks too big as well so it's almost like it's it would be hard to hide those you know like if you're doing photos yeah there's like pretty much that angle <laughs> you could get away anyway i don't want to focus too much on that um while i'm mentioning issues i'll just say then the my other minor issue and this is this is even more minor is that i wish they would have um captured her figure and as we see her towards the end of the series and and you know more of her like uniform uh like combat uniform that she she donned uh instead of this as we saw her earlier on is kind of like her plain clothes uh suit anyway let's uh let's throw those sides on okay so as i was throwing the size on i realized you know what i have a third minor issue i call them minor just because it's like you know what 
none of them are so bad to me that they ruin the figure for me. I'm going to say in advance that overall I still love this figure. But um, my other minor issue is I wish she would have come with some alternate hands. Basically, I like how they have this, this hand that's really exactly like the Psy holding hand. Um, and a more of a regular fist uh, or gripping hand. I wish we would have gotten one for each. Like a, a regular gripping hand. For also the right, and then uh, also like this sigh, um, you know, posed fingers for the left. That that would have made her perfect. I would have that would have made me even more overlook the Popeye forearms and and the choice of of outfit. Um, I really feel like man for that I, I would have given her five out of five stars. But as it is. Still pretty cool, uh, and you can still position these in other ways. Like so. So that's really cool. Really, really cool, you know. Um, I like it. Not not gonna complain. Um, I want to take a I'll give you guys a little closer look at the um, the masked face. Again, uh, I feel like Hasbro did a really good job here. The face looks looks great even even with the mask. So let me um go ahead and switch it out to the. Uh, the unmasked face and give you guys a look at that and there she is um now i'm saying hasbro did a great job um but now at this point i kind of want to say okay <laughs> i have a fourth minor issue now this face is beautiful that I will I will give Hasbro credit for debt. This this face is absolutely beautiful, but the likeness is not spot on to the actress. This looks like it could be someone almost entirely different, but she is beautiful. There is that going for her. So still really cool. Uh, just so you can get a a look at. The hair detail as well. They did do a really good job there. I want to say that. Just just not a perfect likeness. So for final thoughts, um she does come with the uh what is this? I think the yes yeah, the left leg or man thing. Hope to uh complete him soon. And then just another quick look. Overall, I do want to say, you know, I do think it's it's still a, a great figure. You know, as far as Marvel Legends goes, you know, well worth, well worth the price. Definitely a must-have if you're a fan of, of the Netflix shows. Or even if you're not, just, you need this for your Marvel Legends collection. Um... Kind of like the masked face better. So I think mostly I'll, I'll keep that on. You can definitely get her some really good poses as well. So there you have it. Really cool. Electra. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.